A majestic tourist from the South Pole looking well out of place on the shores of the Kapiti coast. Locals keen to catch a view of this rare sight on Pika Pika Beach. I just want to rescue it. <laughs> Poor little thing. Beautiful. So, so nice for him to see it as well at such a young age. A long way from home, the flightless visitor is usually found in the Antarctic. The largest of the penguin world, adults reach more than a metre tall and weigh up to 30 kilograms. Is he a bit little or a bit big? A bit big. This one would have been among this year's crop of chicks. And usually they stay among the pack ice and feed on, on fish and squid and krill. But this one's just kept going north and it's a very long way from its usual range. This juvenile, only the second emperor penguin known to have visited New Zealand shores. The first one landed on Southland's Auditi Beach in 1967. To have one this far north is, is you know, very, very exceptional. First time in 40 years and we get to see it. Just, just very special to be part of it. The Department of Conservation advises people not to disturb the penguin and dogs should be kept on leads. Our dogs are often walked on that beach. If they run 100 metres ahead of the owner, they're not even going to know what's happening and the penguin will be dead. Three motorbikes came flying past earlier and that stressed it. Who do you think he might be missing? His friends. Yeah. It's thought if he gets too lonely, he'll eventually head back to a more familiar, colder climate. Chrissy Moreau, One News.